First thing that you're gonna to need to do is go to app.teamlink.com and log in. And then you're just gonna to need to visit the schedule builder tab. So once you're in there, you're gonna to have to create a new schedule. Uh, for this demo, we're going to call it the 2020 season U11 schedule. Uh, you select the division that the schedule is for, select the start date, and how many weeks that the schedule will run for. And from there, you just press create. Um, you're gonna to wanna to make sure prior to creating the schedule that you have your teams added and your division structure set up. And you can do that through the teams tab in your account. So once your initial schedule is created, you're going to want to go into the settings tab, um, make sure the name is right, the start date, set your weeks, and then from there you're going to customize the duration of the games, how much time is in between them, and you can drag and drop to switch the preference um, of the, if the days are scheduled. Uh, and then from there, anytime you press that save and rebuild button, it's going to randomize your schedule again and update the schedule based on the properties that you've set. Under the Teams tab, this one's super simple. You just need to select all the teams that need to play within this schedule. Typically, our leagues will have one schedule per division. The Availability section of the Schedule Builder is where you're gonna control the times of the games. So that being the start time and when games end for the day. So with that, you can come in here. So for this example, we can have our assessed health center location available Thursday through Sunday, 5.30 p.m. to 11.55 p.m. And we can have the other four locations available Friday from 5 p.m. to 11 p.m. So as you can see with that, uh, based on the availability that we set, games are going to start at 5.30 p.m. Um, we had Friday set as our preferential day, so it's scheduled there. And the schedule builder is going to schedule as many games as it can on that Friday based on the availability of the locations. In the event that you have, maybe uh, you don't have a location available for a certain time on a certain day, what you can do is an availability override. So with that, um, we'll set one here for all our locations on September 4th, which was the first day that we had games going. And if we say that we don't have any locations available from 4 p.m. until 7 p.m., um, these games right here should then start at 7 p.m. in the schedule. So if we save and rebuild, um, you can see now that games are starting at 7 p.m. And this can be done for one location or as many locations as you have in your, um, in your account. So if you don't want games to happen on a certain day, let's say again, September 4th, if we were to save and rebuild, now it should push these games to the next day in the schedule, which we have as September 3rd. Any games that you're seeing as unscheduled in the schedule, um, that just means that there just isn't enough time um, available to schedule these games. So what you can do is either rework your availability section here, your overrides, or what you can do is you can edit these games manually. And with that, it's gonna update the schedule there, add the game in. The final tab to look at in the schedule builder is the weeks tab. So within the weeks tab, you're gonna, gonna wanna choose how many game days you want per week. And then within that, you can customize each game day. These can be single games, double headers, triple headers, or any sort of custom settings that you need. Uh, for the purpose of this, we're going to do one day with double headers and then one day with single games. At any time in the schedule builder, you can drag and drop opponents or locations. With that as well, any conflicts with teams being double booked or locations being double booked will show up in this conflicts tab right here. There's also summaries available just to show you how many games each team is playing, home and away, the location usage, and the start times of the games. If you need certain teams to have a designated home field in your schedule, you'll just need to hover over the team, click this pencil, and drag and drop the field to be either their mandatory home field or just the home field as a preference. With that as well, you can also add in restrictions so either teams can't play against other teams or if they're unavailable on certain days or days of the week. At any time if you're stuck as well, if you have premium support, you can send us a chat message and we'll get back to you right away. Or you can view our help articles which are available 24 seven and should outline everything else that you need to know in the schedule builder.
Once you're happy with how your schedule looks and you want to publish it and share it, what you can do is click the publish and share button and you can click publish. So what that will do is it will publish the games to the team management app for each team as well as it'll be now available on your website. Changes that are needed to be made to your schedule after you've published it should be made through the scheduled events tab which you're looking at right here. Um, once the change is made, it'll automatically update on your website and in the team management app for each team. It'll just be a matter of clicking edit, making the change and saving it. Um, once your schedule is built, we also recommend you try out our re online registration, our team management app, our website builder, and the communication tools as well.